Hello, fabulous Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2015, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is for you in the context of love. It's actually amazing in terms of, not just in terms of what's happening now, but what is beginning now. Several key things are set to take place that are going to define much of the year and actually define much of the summer will start to initiate now. And that's largely thanks to the fact that Venus is going to enter your sign and before the month is over, will enter shadow. And so, as I spoke about in the Love Focused Horoscope for 2015, you may want to watch that again, the year ahead Love Focused Horoscope, because what starts now really in, is the beginning of the themes I encapsulate in that video. So we've got Venus entering shadow. Next month we'll begin to go retrograde. We'll be retrograde through much of the summer as well in the fall late summer into the early fall will go direct and we'll leave shadow in October. So that whole process starts now and early this month in the first days of the month, Venus enters your sign and brings an element of your belief in your own ability to attract what you want in your own ability to decide what you love and allow that to come towards you. So we've got uh, you all of a sudden being able to that much more easily bring forward your charming self, your best self, your most attractive self. And then you add to this that towards the end of the month, you start asking yourself some more important questions that have to do with, do I love it? Do I love the person? Do I love the thing, the situation? And it becomes an important part of your learning that will stay with you for a very long time to come. So that process starts now. But in the romantic sense, what we do have that's unique to this month is the full moon. Early in the month, in the first few days of the month, we've got this full moon taking place. This particular full moon is happening in a super romantic part of your sky. And this full moon is speaking with Neptune and Uranus and Jupiter. Now, the conversation with Neptune, not so great, with Jupiter and Uranus, really awesome, really, really great. So this suggests to me, you may not be seeing your prospects that clearly, you might be a little hard on yourself, you might, um, you might be either underestimating or way overestimating what's actually happening, uh, or what, who somebody else actually is. I'm gonna say pace yourself, because ultimately the end result is way better than anything you could plan for yourself. Uh, don't give in to first impressions. If you're open to meeting somebody new and that's what this particular full moon is about for you, don't just give in to the first impression. If your first impression is meh, you know, it may not stay that way. You may need a second uh, meeting or a third meeting before the enthusiasm really kicks in. Um, so let's break it down a little bit with this particular full moon. If you are in an established bond, this is about the joy, the love, the flutter of love coming back in. And what I see with this is there might be a part of you that feels that, you know, why did we lose it? Why are we losing it or lost it? Or um, it's almost as if that feeling of love and romance, you feel that you haven't been as connected to it as you're starting the month. There might be a feeling that something is not as connected as it used to be or as it should be. That's not going to last. And that's part of what, especially being in a committed partnership means. It means that you're going to have these times when you feel very much in sync. And then you have these times where there needs to be a little bit of space or distance or a lack of agreement as well as part of learning about each other and growing together. So we've got that playing out there in uh, the first days of the month, but also I gotta say, because of Venus doing all these things in your sign, larger lessons are coming up, especially those of you in committed relationships, but all Leos out there in your own unique context are going to be experiencing some very important lessons of heart. But at least in the early part of the month, there is uh, this very lovely energy playing out that says, you know what, I wanna enjoy your company. I've missed being around you. Those of you dating somebody, this full moon is going to work especially well on your behalf. There may be some inflated expectations of what should be happening now, what should be happening next. 
don't give in to any of them because it looks like um, either it's way inflated or you're being really pessimistic. Let that go. And you'll find that this person you're getting to know in dating, there should be at least one or two moments that make you feel like you're being propelled towards this person in the best possible sense, having these moments of breakthrough and sheer joy that really make you feel very close to this person. And those of you who are open to meeting somebody new, you've got an amazing sky for getting your flirt on and for making connections that really reach right into the heart of you for feeling a sense of romance, uh, being with you and blessing your life as well, especially in the early part of the month. But don't worry if you're open to meeting somebody new, I mean, Venus entering your sign and then being in your sign for months, uh, retrograding in your sign this summer as well. Uh, you will be going through lessons of love. So don't you worry. <laughs> there will be love on offer for you, uh, coming up very shortly. And it's very possible that someone you meet now is going to figure into some of these love lessons that you're likely to go through over the course of the coming months as well. What I love about this month for you is that it is about you. It's about you appreciating your beauty and appreciating your worthiness. It is part of a sacred exploration and this is your time to begin that very journey. You'll have your fun, you'll have your romance, but you'll incorporate it much deeper, which means that the positive things that occur now will stay with you for a very long time to come.